Hi everybody, my name is Katie Schrock and I'm the 2016 Miss Rodeo Oregon. So I'm here today to give you guys two big things that I think are really important for any individual, no matter your age, no matter your gender, no matter what you're doing with your life. I think this is important for all humans. This is such a human thing. And so I want to share this word of wisdom with you guys to apply to your daily lives, to apply to your school, to your friendships, to your relationships, and to your pageantry if that's what you're going to go into. So I got to Miss Rodeo Oregon in a little bit of a different route than most girls get to Miss Rodeo Oregon. I didn't come to Miss Rodeo Oregon with Miss Northwest Professional Rodeo Association or KMB or St. Paul Rodeo Corps on my resume. I came to Miss Rodeo Oregon tryouts as Just Katie and I was pretty excited because Just Katie had a pretty strong resume in my book. I came as a former collegiate basketball player from Oregon State University. I had a McDonald All-American nomination from high school, All-State, All-League. I did high school equestrian team. I was the state ambassador for 4-H. I was in 4-H for 12 years. I showed horses, beef, rabbits, wildlife, stewards, like you name it. I kind of did a little bit of everything. So I thought that that would be enough. And then shortly after winning, I realized that there was this mold. There was this shape intact. And I didn't fit it. I didn't fit in that mold at all. And I tried pretty hard to fit into that mold and I couldn't do it and I didn't want to do it. And then my mentor came to me and she told me to come up with a focus word for my year. And focus word is something that I fully understand as a college basketball player or as a basketball player or an athlete in general. We would always come up with words that we thought were fitting and we would write them on our hands, we would write them on our shoes and there were words that we would check back into. And whether that word was for a specific game, a specific week or even a season, that word meant something to us. Our team even had a focus word. It was a word that we said for every cheer. You know, one, two, three, bam. It was something that meant something to us. And it was an acronym, it was a quote, or it was a word. And so coming up with a focus word for my year was amazing. So the first thing I want to do is share with you guys my focus word for the year. And I encourage each of you guys to create focus words for your year, for your next event, for the next semester of school. Whatever it is that you need, create yourself a focus word. Something that will keep you in line with what you want to do. So my word for my year is unmoldable. It doesn't exist. Unmoldable, I think, is pretty poetic because it is a word that doesn't exist. You can't find the definition to it anywhere. Like you can Google search, you can look through a dictionary. It doesn't exist. And I think that's the beauty of it because the way I define it, well, I'll show you guys in just a second. So the definition of moldable comes in two forms. We have a noun and we have a verb. In the noun form, moldable means the shape created or imparted to a thing by a mold. As a verb, it's to change into a similar mold. So I defined unmoldable in the noun form as the inability of a thing to change to the considered norm shape. And then as a verb, to change into a unique design. Unmoldable embraces the uniqueness of every individual and it helps them aspire to be the best you that you can be. Unmoldable can only be achieved through positivity and the best of intentions. When I originally defined the word unmoldable, I didn't have that second sentence in there. And then after looking through social media more, I realized that was a word that we really needed. That was a sentence in that word, its definition, that we really needed. And that positivity and the best of intentions needed to be applied to all of our lives. So that leads me to my second point. So after you have your focus word, know that positivity and really being the best you that you can be and being the best person you can be is really important. So one of the things I think that's happened is we have reality TV. And it's fun. I love it. I get into The Bachelor, Bachelorette, roses everywhere. But it tells us that it's okay. It's okay to be mean, that it's encouraged, and it's cool to be smarky and witty and be aggressively negative. And I'm going to tell you right now that it's not okay. It's not okay. And we need to train our brains that it's not okay, just like we trained our brains that it was okay. And the way that we do that is we make intentions and we deliberately infiltrate every single part of our life and we continue to be a better person. So what I mean by that is that don't comment mean things. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Don't be sending direct messages or in inappropriate text messages or emails that are bullying individuals. And the next line here, and this is I think where it starts. Don't be screenshotting conversations that you aren't a part of on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, sending them to a, another friend of yours with snarky comments. Because by doing that, you're saying that it's okay to say what you're saying, and it's not okay. Imagine if your grandparents saw everything that you ever texted, everything that you ever direct messaged, everything that you ever posted. Would they be proud of you? 
would I be proud of you? Think about that. And I think that, you know, for the most part, we do a good job. But it also requires us to stand up for each other. We're a team. We're all in this together. You are all a part of my unmoldable team. And I want to have the best for all of you. I want us to all achieve our dreams. And we're only going to get there by building each other up. By building each other up, we're going to have more connections, more networking, and more opportunities and more abilities. So positivity is major key. And that's what I want you guys to have. I want you guys to be unmoldable. I want you to be unique. I don't want you to feel like you have to fit the norm. I want you to embrace those things about you that are different than everyone else and then build up your friends who have their own unique values and build them up as well. And together, we're going to make this huge, unstoppable, unmoldable team. And together, it's going to be happy. It's going to be positive. And that's what I want for all of you out there. And it starts with you. You have the ability to reach so many people through your social media. And whether I challenge you to go out and start posting comments every day on at least one person's social media, just telling them, I think you're great. I love this picture. I love seeing you have fun. Anything like that is going to build each other up. So I hope you guys all have a great time. I hope you have all a great week. Everything's been pretty sunny and amazing, which makes me super happy. And just know that I'm always here too. You can always find me on any social media, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. You can shoot me a message. You can shoot me an email. It's kshrock, K-S-C-H-R-O-C-K, M-R-O-1-6 at gmail.com. And I'd be more than happy to talk with you guys. We've all been through really hard times, and I think it's really important that we stay together, we build each other up, and we stay positive. So I hope you guys continue to be unmoldable, continue to be unique, and continue to be positive. And I hope to hear from you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.